Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Jahin and in this video, I will show you how to add a search bar in your system.io sales funnel or landing pages. What that means is if you see there is a search bar. So if people search with some keywords into your system.io websites or funnels, uh, they will show that particular result. That means if I search with Shopify, if my post or any post have Shopify in it, it will show that result. So if people click on enter, uh, this is how it will look like i will show you how you can add this for completely free for that all you need to do is to click the first link in the description and create a free elf site accounts now let's begin with the tutorial and let me show you how you can add this into your system drive account step by step so the first step will be click the first link in the description of this video and you will redirect to a website just like that which is the elf site widget builder that you will use and then just put your email and create a free account okay and verify the email then after that you will redirect to a, a dashboard just like that where we will add the search bar functionality into our system dio account then click on add new app and search click on in the search bars click SCR search and then choose the search widget and then choose the design layout how it should look like okay menu in line if you want to look this look if you want that look just like this okay i will go with this one search this look good and then click on as you can see this how the result will be displayed you can choose based upon this result and everything so click on continue with this template and then the search works on the basis of google therefore it requires a creation of google search engine for your website and getting the google api key api key it can be easily done with the following tutorials how to create search engine how to get google api key so click on the first link and then how to get search engine id okay so at uh, you need to create your search engine at csc.google to do it you need to get click get started and fill out the form okay site to search you need to put your uh, put your website url okay then this type of thing as you can see uh, google search id api key this thing will be given so let's go csc.google.com let's go there and then click get started just follow this step by step this will be good enough so then we need to name your search engine okay name your search engine so my according my website it will be learn with jahin then the page link okay so the page link will be uh, if you know that let me go to my original website the site that have pages and everything so this is my original website so i will go to my funnels and this is my website that i built to its system i want to add a search functionality to it so i'll copy all of them from here and then uh, paste search the entire web uh, uh side or pages so click on add so this will be added so search image search save search i am not a robot then click on create and then as you can see uh, you can you get a now searching has been created so if you go back to that document uh site uh, to search name of the search click on create uh, then uh, go back here and click the name of your search okay so click on customize and then we will find uh, the search search engine name search engine id this is the id uh, get code so if i click on it this is the code and if i scroll down all region search the entire web look and feel something like this as you can see uh, programmatic uh, add api key uh, so this is the search engine id so this is the search engine id search uh, google api key so we got the id but where is the api key so if we scroll down search engine id and search engine id and google api key search engine id so if we see uh, this is our search engine id okay if i go to now and paste it here 
Okay, and now we need the API key. So where is the API key? Search in ID. Uh, is this is the API key or not? Not sure. Uh, ID field in the widget setting. Space the search engine ID. So the ID has been pasted. So click on publish if it is working or not. The so change has been published. So click on select. Select this plan. And then we need to copy this code from here. We need to copy the whole code from here. And then go back to our website. Then go back to the page that you want to add the search engine in the system.io. Uh, so maybe you want to add the search engine in the uh, within the menu right so as you can see my image has not been loaded so i will scroll down and then find the raw html here and click on edit code and paste the code here and then i will click on save then click on preview uh, to see if the search engine is showing yes the search engine is showing this is only showing to me uh, in the live website this will be there so i will search for shopify okay click on the search icon uh, please enter search and the api key within the widget setting search in id and api key is not there so so edit api key how to get google api key so api key is not there so this is the create an api key uh, okay let's get the api key creating api key uh, creating an api key custom section and then get a key and get a key okay uh, get an key so it is getting us a key we already added the id but api key is not there uh, select a project jahin shahriar yes next enable custom api this will take some time so show key so this is my key api key so let's go back here and paste the key again now click publish okay so this is embedded already but uh, uh, we need to click on install let's this is the code we already uh, added in our search bar if i am not mistake so this is the same code so api key is also added id is also added so let's click on view uh, let's uh, click let's copy this url to an incognito mode okay go to an incognito mode and uh, this is the uh, so let's search for shopify so you can see uh, shopify uh, everything with shopify is showing okay uh, and this is the look and feel so free one product store shopify best page fly everything have shopify is showing here so if i click this is have the shopify in it so this way it's showing so this how this will work but if you want to change the look and feel of it then you can click on edit and you can click on field uh, this type of thing result prop up or full screen let's go with full screen okay let's go with full screen click on publish and then if i scroll back and if i refresh this how it will look right now okay it will take the full screen so the design can be customized as you want so i hope that helps so thank you very much for watching the video